Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode. I hope everyone survived the holidays okay. I always feel like there's a lot of should do's when there is a holiday coming up, but maybe you just had a really low key, super chill, relaxing holiday. So I was thinking about what I wanted to show you in this episode and I realized sometime earlier this year, I told you about us building a new house, a so-called ADU. Don't worry, I did not know what an ADU was before planning the whole thing. So that stands for additional dwelling unit. Okay, a lot happened since then. We have a standing structure. It's not completely done, but we have outside walls and the inside walls are finished by now or almost finished we have drywall up when I was filming it about a week ago we were still in the insulation phase as you can see and we had thought of something special for the outside and we had decided that we wanted to sort of incorporate a half timber frame structure now what are half timbered houses a half-timbered house is a building with a wooden frame and walls made of brick, plaster or stone that leave the wood visible on the surface. So that kind of building technique is actually very popular in Germany. It goes back to, you know, even before the Roman Empire. Where I grew up, this was a very common way of building. Not anymore so much, but you know, a lot of the buildings in the town that I grew up are from the Middle Ages, so you still see them around a lot. And if you're wondering what these things are on the outside of the window, those are blinds. In Germany, you have your blinds on the outside of the window, not on the inside. And there is some sort of strap on the inside coming out of the wall. This is how you lower them and get them back up in the morning. And these things will make your room pitch black dark. Okay, back to half timbering. These houses are very old, so the structure looks kind of a little wonky. The wood is moving and it gives it its charm. What we're doing is probably going to look a lot more straight and obviously a lot more fake. <laughs> Remind me a little bit of Leavenworth. If you've ever been there, they have a lot of these fake timber frame houses where basically they built a house, put stucco on it, and then put a bunch of slats on it. So it gives it that look. So I was like, I have an idea. I think I can probably draw this. And when I got started on it, I quickly figured out this is a lot harder than I thought because all of our windows have different sizes and they're also not all lining up either on top or the bottom so trying to figure out how to have a cohesive pattern yeah. that also somehow ties in the windows like an actual timber frame would was actually quite challenging and as you can hear i'm on the phone with our contractor who also then faced some challenges doing this he had the same struggles and he said it was uh, structurally not super easy to do so yeah timber is the same same weight or same uh, measurements. Yeah, yes. And I'm like, oh, is this gonna work out? I don't know. And yeah. I mean, this window situation on the south elevation was really, that took me the longest. I couldn't figure out how to tie into windows into that pattern. Yeah, I was like, fuck, how do I do this? Like, I, yeah, my brain was in, in knots. I was like, I, I don't really know how to make this work. So it looks good with all the other sides but also kind of works with the window situation that we have. Since we we're gearing up towards the holidays, I realized that I should probably offer some new stuff via the print shop and 
I remembered that I had a bunch of prints. Um, I call them seconds or second sale on my print shop. They're not really seconds, if you will, because I feel like the word seconds always implies that they're somehow faulty or they have little mistakes. That's not really what it is. They're just prints that have been sitting in my studio for a while and I haven't sold them. So I'm offering them on my print shop with a lower price than normal. Also, I have another special going on. Um, when you watch this video, you can get a 25% discount in my print shop on literally everything with the discount code flash and I'm only going to announce this here I'm not gonna put this up anywhere else and it's only gonna be up this Sunday and Monday and this is it and furthermore I will be offering a calendar I have never done this before and it will be offered sometime next week I don't know exactly when so you should definitely check my Instagram for further announcements Okay, all right. After I was done taking photos, I really was craving a little bit of movement and fresh air. So I decided to drive out to the county. I remembered that there was a hike there that was a little higher in elevation, not super high, but it had been quite cold the night before. And I was wondering if maybe I could get a glimpse of some dusting somewhere. And I did. I tried to film it, but I gotta say, I didn't really have the right lens with me to be able to zoom that far. So I left that out because it really didn't look that great. Look at this wild mushroom that's just uh, wild in the sense of crazy. That's just uh, has sprung on the side of this tree between the moss. It looks like a creature from another realm. The next day I started with some baking. Um, I wanted to bake a German style apple cake, I guess would, is what you would call it, or a crumble. I'm not entirely sure how you would really translate that. In German it's just Apfelkuchen. It's not really the same as an apple pie because the crust is quite different. It's a different dough, it's a lot thicker and you don't have as much fruit so the whole thing isn't as mushy. It's a lot firmer, it's a little less sweet and then you have streusel on top or as we call it, streusel.
baking, to be honest. <laughs> I hate baking so much. I don't know why I thought I should do that. <sighs> I'm going to this potluck thing and everyone is supposed to bring something and um, I don't think anyone did dessert so I was like oh I'm gonna pick a cake and I'm actually gonna pick two cakes because one of my friends can't eat wheat so I'm gonna make the same thing in like a in like a teeny tiny spring form made with gluten-free flour um, and I'm like why did I think this is a good idea? I have a child, I have a million other things to do, but let me just on top of that bake two cakes. Well, now I'm in it, so I'm gonna do it. I, I, it's probably gonna be yummy, so at least, <laughs> at least the outcome is not gonna be, well, I mean, I don't know, but hopefully the outcome is not gonna suck, but so far my favorite part is probably drinking coffee.